Today's video is going to be how we set up the machine for the Mach 3 software. In our last video, we made this uh, mop handle uh, thread <clears throat> and uh, everything worked out real good. We have a uh, speed of 150 inches a minute. <sighs> It's pretty quick. But it could go a lot faster. But there's something I need to point out. The faster you go, the more damage you're going to cause when you make a mistake. There's just no doubt about it. It's so important, I'm going to say it again, the faster you go, the more damage you're going to cause when you make a mistake. If you're going 50 inches a minute or 60 inches a minute and you crash, it's not going to be anywhere near as bad as 150, 180, 225, etc. You know what I'm saying. You have to be very careful. There's just short distances here. You don't have a lot of time. Uh, split seconds really before you can get the uh, stop button. So be careful. Be careful. You know, when I ran this program, I took the chuck off after setting everything up. I took the chuck off and then I ran the whole program to see where it was going to go and make sure I didn't make any mistakes, even though I went over it three or four times. Then I put the chuck on and pushed the button uh, for cycle start. So I can't stress that enough. Now let's get on to how we set this up in the Mach 3 software for ball screws. This uh, Z ball screw is right-handed. It's not left-handed. So this is a closed loop system uh, that we got from Microproto. So we're going to show you how that uh, sets up right now. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to do the math. We have a 2.5 millimeter uh, screw, meaning that uh, each time it turns around it's uh, 2.5 millimeters. That is equal to 0.09842 and it goes on and on and on for a whole lot of numbers. Now if we take one inch, 1.0, and let's divide that by the 0.09842 that equals 10.1605 and that goes on and on and on and on. So that means that uh, this is how many turns we have in one inch. So if we take that number 10.1605 times the 400 steps in our stepper motor that equals 4064 and some trailing numbers, etc., etc. But this is the important number. Now I'm going to show you where that goes. Now here we have the Mach 3 uh, screen, and let's just go ahead and uh, go over to our motor tuning. <coughs> and right here, is the 4064 steps per. This is where that number goes, 4064. Here's where I have the 150 inches a minute, and here's where I have my acceleration set to 10, uh, because I want it to go pretty quick, to get there pretty quick uh, for threading especially. And the rest you can copy right here, but it's just pretty much standard stuff, and you would do this uh, for the X and for the Z, but the, the number right here is 4064 the 150 seems to work well for me. It could go a whole lot faster. Let's move on to another nice uh, important part right here. Ports and pins, motor outputs. Now you'll notice right here we have the X and the Z. This is for the lay. And we have, uh, this is for my closed loop system. We have uh, pins five and four. Now here is normally a green check mark. That's for a left-handed thread Z. 
Now, because we have a right-handed, you just uncheck that and put a red, a red X there, and then it'll travel in the right direction for you. It's just as simple as that. Nothing else is needed. But you'll see normally uh, three check marks green. Just put an X right here, and that will take care of the right-handed thread. So now this is just a quick review. Uh, this is where I set my machine home, all the way up at the top and all the way back. And so here is our uh, spindle center. Everything on this side is plus. Everything on this side is minus. So when I'm doing uh, the threading, uh, 875, 875 thousandths, that was minus 875 thousandths, and it went down to uh, minus 550 thousandths uh, for the depth. And on this side, when we were turning it, it was plus. It was uh, uh, 900, uh, 875, but it was all plus on this side. So that way, uh, I get the best use out of the tools. But remember, the faster you go, the more damage you can create. You guys have a lot of fun with this.